Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. This is the Honey Badger here doing a brutally honest review on the Coachman Freedom Express travel trailer. I'm going to go over the things I love and I'm going to go over the things I hate about this trailer. Now I did sell it for years and I'm going to alternate probably back and forth between what I like and what I don't like. So make sure you watch all the way through so you get all the information. Let's start with something I don't like. Now, I'm a little biased because I actually sold these from 2017 and 2019, and it's a fabulous, fabulous product. But there are downsides, and one of those downsides is the colors. And that's just a personal preference thing for me, guys. I'm one that I like lighter colors in a small travel trailer because of the fact it makes the trailer feel more open to me. This feels just like with Cherokees. When I sold Cherokees, and I sold a ton of them the last two years at dealerships, I told people I didn't like the colors, and they're about the same color cabinetry, yet people still bought them. Why? Because a lot of people like this kind of modern look. So hands off to them, they took a risk, because they used to be a light brown to a dark maple brown color cabinet, which I liked better, but apparently, they took a risk and made a change, and they're doing very well with it. It's just not my cup of tea. However, guys, Asdale Fiberglass, they were one of the first trailers that was able to use Asdale Fiberglass. And they do a full aluminum sidewall construction. There's still some manufacturers that do have fiberglass, but use hung wall construction, which means that they're wood framed instead of aluminum framed. So a lot of times salespeople make the mistake of they think that, oh, if it's got smooth side, it means it has aluminum framing. That's not all the way true. There are some that are partially aluminum framed. There are some that are wood framed. The good news for Freedom Express, there's no wood in the sidewalls. So with Asdale Fiberglass, what that really means to you, the customer, is that there's no wood backing. So that really helps with delamination, period. So you're not going to get that bubbling in the fiberglass if you have a small leak because, whoops, I forgot to take care of the roof. Another very positive thing, especially with the reps, the sales reps understand their market. And guys, as much as that probably sounds silly, customer support for the person who purchases the trailer and on top of that, the customer support they give the dealership is top notch. I sold this for years. I was a general manager of a store in California. And if you don't know my background, I am very brutal with people. I used to be brutal with manufacturers. That's why a lot of them used to come up to me and go, hey, what do you think? And I'm like, are you absolutely sure you want to know? The, the, and, and again, if I have to point to something negative, it's the the original floor plans that they're still building. Like this one we're walking through right now is a 246 RKS. Nothing's changed in it. Nothing has evolved in it. It's still this, I couldn't give this floor plan away. I mean, there's a lot of people who really like it, but in California, man, I, I mean, it would sit for a year and I was willing to lose money just to move it off my lot and order something else and nope. And it was the same thing with some of the heavier stuff. You know, they just weren't willing to take a risk with their original floor plans. But I'm going to flip that into a positive. And this is the positive is they're willing to make changes to certain things. So, for example, they actually eliminated three floor plans and redesigned them over the last four years. So you got the 259 BHS, uh, you have uh, the 252 RBS, They've redesigned and made these floor plans a lot better. And, you know, they've gone away. They, I mean, obviously, I'm talking about cookie cutter floor plans that they still do build. They're still your bread and butter for most of the region. And I'm complaining because I was a dealer and I'm a complainer anyway. But on the flip side, they evolve. And that is a very big positive because let me give you an example. And this goes for almost every single fiberglass trailer coachman sells is when you lift up the bed, the queen bed up front, for, unless it's a Murphy bed, you'll see it probably here in a minute. 
you can actually sit down. You could slide storage underneath like shoes and stuff. And you actually lift the bed, have some privacy and sit down and put on your pants or your shoes or change your clothes. And you're not going to feel claustrophobic. At the same time though, the downside is they still have not figured out how to give you more chicken wing space in the bathroom. And that's hard to do guys. I mean, I've only seen one or two brands that actually give you some good chicken wing space by the toilet or inside the shower in a small travel trailer. That's a very, very hard, tough thing to do. And I, I just, I wish that somebody would do it on a more consistent basis, especially if you want to get somebody at 616263 to feel comfortable inside the bathroom. And, and I don't think bathroom storage is that important. Everybody seems to want to put a medicine cabinet in a mirror and, and big storage cabinets in the bathroom. It's like, man, I'd rather have the toilet in a position where, you know, I feel like I can read the newspaper. Remember, you spend time there. That's why you buy a travel trailer. You buy a travel trailer so you have your own bathroom and bed to sleep in. You got, everybody's got the bed right, but not everybody's got the toilet right. Yeah, I know. That's disgusting, but still. Uh, again, here's something else. If you look at this floor plan right here, they finally decided to make sure to give people big outside kitchens when they can. Let me tell you, this was not the case four years ago. Four or five years ago, it was a small little rinky-dink uh, outside kitchens, and they still have to do the small little ones on some of the floor plans. But the bigger floor plans and some of those smaller ones, they when they can, they put the bigger outside kitchen to give you more storage, a little bit bigger refrigerator. Now, they don't put a propane electric one out there. Nobody does. It's all full electric, which means you need to have a generator running or you got to be plugged into a campsite to use it. But at the same time, guys, they're just willing to take some more risks. And that's a very positive thing. The guys that are running that division of Coachman are doing such a beautiful job. It's like the bread and butter of our business at Coachman. They do an excellent job of just, you know what, let's get a little more creative with things. You know, when, when something is going uh, the wrong direction in warranty or in quality, they are willing to pull the trigger and say, no, nope, we're going to make that change because they know it's got a following now. It's got a following like Rockwood and Flagstaff. Now, they may not sell as many, but let's remember something, folks. Coachman in general, and it's the company I work for, so again, shoot me if in the comments if you want. They build to order. They don't mass produce. So when you have to pull the trigger and make a change, it really stops things in its tracks for a little bit. So imagine they're willing to make those changes midstream when they see an issue. Even the plant I work for, which is a little cheapy travel trailer, they're willing to pull the trigger and make those changes right away to make the experience for the dealership and for the customer better. Now, is it perfect? No coach is perfect. No travel trailer is perfect. No RV is perfect. They're all built by human beings. And if you ask my good old buddy Lucius, he would tell you they're all wobbly boxes. But some are a little bit better and a little bit nicer than others. This is one of those top notch trailers. And I would sell it over almost every single laminate trailer in its price point. And that's the last thing I'm going to tell you about it before we get to the Flagstaff trailers. That'll be in the right hand side of the, tr of the end of the video. Price point. It's just, and, and this is across the board, across the industry, you know, you're, you're talking about a $50,000, $55,000 travel trailer, probably $60,000 travel trailer MSRP, depending on what options you want on it. So, you know, that might make you pause once or twice, but let me tell you folks, it's worth the money, it's worth the investment, it's worth the time. And in the top right-hand corner, you're going to see my brutally honest review on Flagstaff travel trailers. Happy camping and good hunting.